tokenize this immediately, as I'm sure you'll agree. Speaking of tokens, the market cap continues to fluctuate around 550 and 600. It dropped to about 545, back up to 625, December 30th, <laughs> earlier today, okay, down to 558. Wild swings of around 50 billion. Bitcoin's dominance currently is pretty low, 28%, 30, 30, 38%. I didn't mean to give you a heart attack. We actually have live footage of the moment Ethereum was overtaken by Ripple. <laughs> And although the battle has been won, Ethereum has been dethroned the number two spot by Ripple, the war is far from over. Ethereum has a lot of upgrades planned, for example, moving over to a completely proof of stake model. For those that aren't aware, that's where you can stake your coins and make a portion of transaction fees on the Ethereum blockchain. The more you have staking, the more you'll earn in transaction fees. Very, very basically. When that upgrade is released, I'm sure people are going to want to be toking, stoking, stocking up on those tokens. Although this is not financial advice. Anyway, Raybox. Turns out it was actually time for a correction. So, here's looking at you, Ripple. Correction time, almost certainly at some point, possibly a very big one. An interesting point to mention though is that Raybox currently is Raybox. But what I mean by that is, it works. It has no more, let's say, scheduled upgrades, no more big news announcements. I mean, yeah, but not so much technological. This is a market that is primarily fueled by speculation on certain announcements. Developmental ones, there aren't going to be many, I would assume. However, they could still have big partnership announcements. Potentially, the market doesn't actually care about news that much. I just have seen that it does. And for Bitcoin, we have Schnorr Signatures. Talked about this before, it's gaining traction at the moment. There's a lot to it. I will link this article down below. Am I in the way? No, nope. over here, just in this side. There's a lot to it. There's a few benefits that it brings. However, primarily, smaller transactions, more transactions in a block, pretty cool stuff. As for the rest of the market, it seems like people are picking those coins less than a dollar and pumping them systematically. I'm sure there's a lot more to it than that, but yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Not less than a dollar, a few dollars. Ripple's $2 now. Anyway, CryptoKitties was wildly successful. It will spawn some future Ethereum games. Whether or not they're actually gonna be any good is another question, but there you go. Ether Tanks is one of them. I think the website looks bad, um, but hey, I don't know if there's something here. Some of you guys were asking me to include Sonam in my year-long HODL experiment. Link to that below if you don't know what I'm talking about. I think this is probably a good choice. I did flirt with the idea of doing some low market cap coins in there. Let me know if you have suggestions for others. However, please keep in mind that while, yeah, I'd kind of be raising exposure to the coins by doing the experiment, the problem is I could make coins look really badly if it's doing bad as versus the Bitcoin gains, or I could make them look really good. It depends what happens. Basically, the numbers are gonna do all the talking here. So yeah, let me know your suggestions, but just keep that in mind. Currently reading some Andreas Andropoulos books, reading this one, about to read that one. Very good, enjoying it so far. Decentralization is an important thing. He talks about why, really lays it out. That's what makes cryptocurrency so amazing. It's not like we didn't have centralized versions of these things before. We use digital money all the time. Something a little bit more is, is needed and that's what Andreas really gets home. Now I'm gonna talk about an ICO that is attempting to decentralize some stuff. I thought I might as well talk about some ICOs occasionally. I stopped doing it for a while. But then if I'm going to talk about coins as soon as they hit the market, I might as well talk about the ICO. Maybe you guys will like it. There's no endorsement for anything. None of the coins I speak about are endorsements. Probably worth your time researching, but maybe not even that. Hoku is an ICO currently running. I think they've raised $6 million so far. The future of marketing, the world's first decentralized affiliate program. Basically, this platform is great for advertisers. They don't need to go to a middleman. They can go directly to peers. I can definitely see something like this taking off. I'm not saying that this one will particularly, but this is the future where we don't need middlemen anymore. And they go on to explain why. I think it's, uh, it's a little heavy handed with their statements. However, they are true. Merchants can take up to 45% of a merchant's budget. That's probably the higher end, but still... Middlemen are very expensive, and if you can go peer-to-peer, -peer, this platform charges way less. The platform is available for testing. This is what I was talking about. ICOs need to come out with platforms. It's not enough anymore, I, I feel. This is my personal opinion. It's not enough for an ICO not to have a working product. You can test their platform. Not fully operational yet, I would imagine. However, there's something there. And I, I'd expect people to be asking more from their ICOs. Woo! This year. Let me change this video. 
Anyway, that's it for me, and you will see me next year, in two days. Don't get worried.